Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Can we talk with Monique? I am Monique. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of all my uploads. So y'all, I know we've been talking a lot about Ernesto and you know, but I gotta cover some other stories, but we'll be back to him in a second. But y'all, I have to report on some other cases because the world has just gone mad and gone wild between this week and last week. And it seems like it's the women that are, you know, causing a ruckus among us. I'm just saying, got to be truthful with it. I have to cover this super city girl mayor of Chicago, Tiffany Hanyer. You might have heard of her. Uh, I think she's the mayor over Dalton uh, in uh, in Chicago. Honey. She is the super city girl mayor. That's what they're calling her. Okay. And you look at this picture. All right. And I'm going to go to the video and I'll give my commentary. This is the first video I want to show you. This is the super city girl mayor. This was last year. Well, year before last, October 3rd, 2022. And it says here, Dalton mayor starts meeting with disco after court throws out recall vote. Now, I have to be careful with this because I don't want to copyright strike because it's some music. But I guess they tried to recall the vote. They they voted her in and then they tried to recall it and couldn't. It sounds like the township had some, you know, cold feet after electing her. But let's see, you know, what they have to say. You know how this comes in here because I got to make sure I start it on the right thing. I don't want to start it too much. So, you know, let's listen to this. I'm going to start it off like this. Lord have mercy. How y'all doing? Ain't no stopping us now. Okay. So that was my first invitation to Tiffany Hanyer. And I was like, okay, you know, homegirl, she getting down. You know, she's happy and all. But again, she is the youngest mayor that was ever inducted. And plus she's african-american she's black and she's a woman but there's so much controversy going on with this woman it is unbelievable and i've seen some you know television interviews and i'm gonna say you know what in the world is going on so let's go to here this is an actual township meeting and it gets very heated this is from june 6 2023 so let's play it and I'm going to come back with my commentary. There's so much stuff going on. Now, she's been in politics for a while. Looks like she's held some seats for some years. And it sounds seems like she's well connected and stuff like that. But just look, just let's listen. And, and, and I'll come back um, with my commentary. Let's go. This is an actual township meeting. And um, it gets heated because uh, it was some allegations and even the news, as you can see, the microphone is there. There's somebody from the Lansing Journal, you know, the newspaper. That's the lawyer sitting there. That's Tiffany. Can I call you Tiff? Because I got some talk, talk to you about this. Okay, so let's listen. Mm -hmm. And not from her or any bitter person. Or okay, let's go back. So I'm putting up proper straight so people understand what's going on. So as you can see, the room is primarily African-American. So the district or the area that she represents is more brown and black people in that area. OK, and they're coming to hear and people are listening. She's probably recording um, and people's faces. They're like, well, oh, they don't they don't look too so happy. OK, there's no smiles. People look bewildered. He looks bewildered. She every they're not happy. OK, let's finish hearing what Tiffany got to say. That is what's going on here at the township. Now, I'm going to let Keith um, elaborate a little more about what is going on so people can understand what's happening. And no, stop writing about me. And y'all ain't got y'all facts. She said, and news. See, this is the lady from Lansing Journal. And then I guess Fox News. She says, stop writing about me if y'all ain't got your facts together. That I, Let's go back. Let's go back just a little bit. Mm, just a little stop bit. writing about me and y'all ain't got y'all facts. Y'all wrote that I removed her from office and I did no such thing. I did not lock her out of no office. I don't even so basically there was a, a person under in her cabinet, I think in the, I can't remember what department, but it was said that she was locked out of her office. But just the tone of this is just so 
let's finish listening so that's the lady right there cassandra holbert you see her face cassandra's like what are you talking about she's the person that basically said she was locked out of her office it's a hot mess this whole situation is a hot mess but let's finish listening let's see what you got to say tiffany that's for your record when you do write this article about me because you only come here for the mess. You guys do not come here for anything positive we've done that has been done in this township, such as we got a whole surplus when there's always been a deficit here. In the now, I, I mean, her makeup is done good. Her hair looks nice. She got her nails did and everything, Tiffany. Um, but her neck is going and her, her hands are going. And it just doesn't seem professional to me at all. And I know, the, you know, I don't know who you connected to, Tiffany, but I'm going to have a talk with you in a minute. Mm -hmm. Township, y'all not write that, right? And then when y'all want to know the truth about the township, y'all come back <coughs> bring my line about the theft that's going on at the township before I became the supervisor. But y'all not writing about none of that stuff. So stop. Keith, you got the floor. Ooh, ooh, she was like, Keith, you got the floor. Her neck is rolling. Look, her eyes is rolling. Go ahead, Keith. He got the floor. And then Keith is going to go on. But it's just going to be a back and forth. And it's just it's just really ridiculous. So Keith gets the floor. And then somebody else over here uh, wants to qu ask some questions. And let's just fast forward it to this part. It's just, man. Answer the question. We're not going to answer the question. No, you're, you're not. Okay, look, 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 look. So Keith is talking. Um, that is all I have, Supervisor, if you have any questions or any other for them. Yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. I have a question. <coughs> so you didn't receive any emails or calls from the assessor? I didn't receive anything from the assessor questioning whether or not. Um, or any, any call? What no, I say the past two weeks? No, I hadn't received. I haven't no call, to, no emails. I have, I have not spoke to the assessor at all. Well, that's not what I'm asking. Did you receive any emails? Or okay, calls? He, he answered the question. We're not going to answer the question. We're not. You're, you're, you're done. done. Thank you. Oh, she was like, you're done. Thank you. He's asking questions. It's an open forum for the people. He is an assessor. And she's like, you're done. Thank you. This is the most what in the Nino Brown or Nina Brown. You heard what I said. Ghetto. I, you just saw where there was a recall. And she started playing Ain't No Stopping. Now, I'm looking at the video and I'm saying to myself, I'm not sure if she's going to start crip walking, doing the Cabbage Patch, Tootsie Roll, or even the Harlem Shake in that room. It's just so unprofessional. And look at the people's faces. People look perplexed, scared, tired, zoned out. This is a mess. A mess, well, I, I tell you. Question. You, you can ask him, okay, well, I'm but he asked, he, he's, he's not asked, answered them then? Okay, he's so, asked, he asked for this, he's not going back to the house. Did you receive any calls or emails? I have not. Yeah. I have so, not. So, the assessor's office was moved from the previous office to a different office. So, are you admitting she has office? Because I just want to know what's this little pony show for. So, you're admitting she has office, right? Trust oh, my God. This is an elected official. And I... I don't if I didn't know I was listening to an actual, you know, political, you know, organized uh, situation here at a township meeting with elected officials. I would have thought it was people fighting in the street. What in the like I said, Nino Nina Brown is going on around in these streets. No, no, no. You asked the question. Yes, so, was it was it moved to another office? Since you got all answers, was it moved to another office? I don't office? know. That's why I'm asking a question. You should know. You trust me. So well, exactly. But there's no communication. There is no. She has the office. That's my office. In this building. She has the office. But it's not the previous office. Now look at these people's faces. They are afraid. They don't even know what to do. Some of them. This is a mess. This is chaos. Mass chaos, y'all. And like I said, what in the Nino Nina Brown is going on around here? These people are actually in a township meeting with an elected official. Her name is Tiffany Hanyard. And honey, I wouldn't even be able to tell you that this is a professional situation. Like I said, her hair is laid. Her makeup is done. Her nails are done. She holds two offices. And obviously, she must be well connected. Okay, let's finish listening and then I'll finish talking because I got something to say to Tiffany. It's not the previous one. That's, that's my question. I just asked it. No, you didn't. Anything else? No, yes. 
It's not the previous office. Okay, so I'm, I'm done. Not, no, um, answer the questions. I just yeah. did. Uh, no, anything no, else? Point of order. Point of order. Any other questions from questions. anybody else? You're not answering the question. Just did. No, you didn't. Any and other questions? So, is this based on any sort of law saying that a assessor can? I mean, the assessor, any assessor within the state will have, say, like a program, a satellite outside of the building. I mean, so, I mean, is there any sort of back state kind of law or that you have basing this on? Or? She cannot remove herself from this building. Hey, so she hasn't. So the one of the assessors had an office, maybe a satellite office. Apparently, allegedly, it was locked, and they obviously brought her office maybe back in house or into I don't know the city hall. Uh, but there's a whole lot of area contention, not only with this assessor, but many people there. But this is a hot mess. And to make matters worse, look at this. Suburban politicians, cancer charity fails to file financial records. So a lot of people are saying that money is being spent. Uh, money is not being spent where it's supposed to. So let's read this article. And I got some words for Tiffany. Um, Tiffany Hanya holds two elected offices. I think she makes well over $175,000 and runs a charity for cancer patients, which is nice. However, the Illinois Attorney General's office, this is dated January 15, says her namesake foundation that she put together has failed to file the basic information about how it collects and spends money. WGN investigates found that Tiffany Hanyard cares foundation also benefited from money, manpower and promotion from the village of Dalton and Thornton township two municipalities led by Hanyard. So she is the youngest female African-American mayor. She leaves two municipalities. So she's getting close to 200,000 or something like that Ta uh, says township credit card records show charges totaling $10,248 for hotels along the route of a Tiffany Hanyard cares walk for Dalton in spring in 2022. It says there's a list of hotels and meals, but they, you know, that were they paid. There's just a bunch of dysfunction going on. Okay. So let's talk about that. It says um, people thinking it's personal gain, but it says the Illinois attorney general sent the foundation a warning letter in mid-December 2023 demanding that it produce the required financial disclosures by January 12th. We are now at January 26th, but receive no response. According to a spokesperson for a general attorney general Kwame Raul's office, the foundation now faces the possibility of fines and the ousting of its officers. Public databases show the charity is a 501 C three organization with tax exempt status, but has not filed information about its fundraising or expenses within the, with the IRS. Okay. So this opens her up. See, they went digging. I guess they couldn't find anything on Tiffany, but when they looked at her foundation and she started using the credit cards, um, you know, from the municipality, they were like, okay, you don't have the, all of the dot, the I's cross and the T's dotted. And I know I said it backwards, but that's an ode to Ernesto Williams. <laughs> if you know, you know, anyway, so they didn't have all of that done. So they were like, okay, it says there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we're moving. Hanyard said and boasted in her uh, 2022 video that she posted on the front of Thornton Township's website. Okay. It says meeting minutes show that Hanyard also promoted the charity during government meetings. And that to me, you got your own charity, 501c3. You shouldn't be promoting it, in my opinion, um, at a government meeting. It says Supervisor Henyard also mentions that she's real big on cancer foundations. And she created CARES Foundation um, by helping everybody within um, to help everybody within her, the 17 municipalities with services and resources such as chemo radiations wigs and even helping with housing she that's in the minutes okay of September 27 2022 to me that's a conflict of interest you should not be mentioning your own foundations um, during city hall meetings Henyard routinely shuts down and shuts um, shuts down shouts down and shuts down 
questions about how tax dollars are used in both Dalton and Thornton Township. So she's over Thornton and Dalton Township. And this is uh, her quote. I shouldn't have to sit up here and break all this down. And your response to trustees who requested more information about expenses at a November Dalton meeting. She also has some run ins with, uh, um, you know, she was very cagey and really didn't want to talk about it to WG and investigate. And it says also Dalton and Thornton Township. Now, you know, the FOIA request, freedom of information requests um, that people are using even to get uh, information that has it, which is a law. They have stopped responding to public requests, record requests from WGN investigates made under the Freedom of Information Act. Dalton's clerk, Allison Key, a Henyard critic who was previously responsible for re- responding to to records request said Freeman stripped her of that power in September. So there was another lady who used to respond to the FOIA request, but apparently somebody stripped her of her powers. And it says now there's a new person responsible for fulfilling the public records request. And it's reportedly allegedly Henyard's cousin WGN investigates has appealed to the Illinois attorney general office to require the two municipalities to comply with the transparency laws. Now I, this, the rest of this comment and this commentary is going to be to Tiffany Mm -hmm. city girl, mayor, Tiffany, and yet can I call you Tiff, Tiffany? Look, Tiffany, you probably have earned the right to be there, but you serve the people and these jobs. You are the youngest You are the first African-American woman to run those two municipalities and you are being looked at. Now, I know you may think you have the ultimate power and the ultimate authority right now. And you might be smelling yourself, as my grandmother would say. But I'm here to tell you, sis, Tiff, can I call you Tiff? Tiff, I'm here to say the people that put you there can take you out of that office. And, you know, sometimes people get so high strung on their power and authority and just as fast as you rose your way to the top and maybe it wasn't so fast, it'd be even faster to tumble down to the bottom. Have some humbleness. Be a little humble. Have some, you know, respect. You don't have to wind your neck and, uh, uh, you know, snap your fingers and do all of this extra stuff because you're doing the most. Tiff. Do you remember somebody in uh, uh, Detroit? He was the youngest mayor there. His name was Kwame. Do you remember Tiffany? Don't forget what happened to Kwame, okay? Because I'm looking mm -hmm, and I'm saying the same thing may happen to you. Don't get so high and mighty up on your horse because you're there right now. Because guess what? The powers that be, mm mm-hmm. If they figure that you causing too much of a ruckus among us, they will have you sitting looking crazy. Uh, Like I said, remember your brother Kwame. Okay. And I mean, Kwame, if you don't know who Kwame I'm talking about, Kwame Kilpatrick, because he was doing the most too. He was well connected to, and he ended up going to prison. So I'm here to tell you, Tiff, slow your roll, sis, because it ain't looking too good. I mean, I understand you know, I understand you, you, you know, you the youngest. I understand super city girl, Mayor Tiffany Henyard. I get it. You know, your hair's laid, your makeup is done. Your nails is dead. You got pictures all over the city with you. You got commercials going. I don't know if somebody has put, you know, not Kool-Aid. If everybody has drank the not Kool-Aid in my opinion, because something is just going to crazy. It's going amiss. But I said this some years back. A lot of these positions that women have been fighting for, black women, they have y'all in them positions. But it seemed like from Chicago to, you know, New Orleans to Atlanta, y'all are just acting up from Fanny Fanny, Fifafo Fanny to you, Supergirl Tiffany. I mean, it's just the world has lost its mind. Y'all are in these positions but it don't seem like y'all are doing what y'all supposed to do. So I'm just here to tell you, Tiffany, Tiff, I just think you need to stop for a moment and pause. Because Kwame was the youngest too. And Kwame, I think he was 32, 30 something years old. 
And Kwame ended up in the federal penitentiary. Mm hmm. So I think you but don't forget what happened to Kwame, Tiffany. And that's all I'm saying. Slow your roll and serve the people like you were elected to do. But, you know, all I could say is they looking at you now and you didn't dot your eyes and cross your T's. Now, Ernesto would say, you know, dot your T's and cross your eyes. But anyway, I digress. So, Tiffany, I think. You might want to slow your roll, sis, because I think the powers that be. And my thing is, I hate to say this. It's probably a predominantly all brown and black area that you're servicing. This wouldn't be happening in certain situ certain areas like Cobb County in, in, in Georgia. It's, they're not trying to hear that mess. These people would have made some phone calls and had your butt out of there long time ago. But anyway, Tiffany, I'm just here to remind you, you know, nobody is above the law. Don't be so high and mighty, because let me tell you something. They'll have you tumbling down. If you're making it too hard for them, they'll have you tumbling, tumbling down. And you'll be sitting there saying, dang, how did I get from here to there? Remember Kwame, Tiffany. Remember Kwame. Kwame. All right, y'all. All All right, Tiff. I don't know if you're going to see this, but if you do, I'm telling you, remember your brother Kwame Quilpatrick because it's just as easy as it was done with him because I think he was feeling himself. Um, It can happen to you. All right, y'all. So I had to cover this. I got another story coming about these folks here in Atlanta. They just straight these folks in Atlanta. All right, y'all like share subscribe and comment down below do you think tiffany is just feeling herself do you think she has drank the narc kool-aid what in the what in the nino nino brown i mean like like i said i didn't know she was gonna start crip walking at that meeting you know if she was gonna start doing a harlem shake or she was just gonna put her hair up in the ponytail you know and put some vaseline on and put some sneakers on and start fighting the media and the people that was in that office i did not know i was sure there was gonna be a fight right there today because her neck was swirling you know and her you know her lips was popping and she was like don't you you report the i was like uh uh-uh. so anyway y'all comment down below this is some chaos I believe they look the attorney general is on her butt. I believe this ain't going to end well for Tiffany. What y'all say? What say ye? All right, y'all like, share, subscribe, hit that little bell, and I will see you guys on the next upload. Peace. And I'm out.